Welcome everybody to another episode of Command Combat Computer Reports. Today we have the ultimate Cold War battle, uh, hundreds of years before the uh, Cold War would have began. Probably about a couple hundred years. The U.S. versus Russia. Alright, let's look at the U.S. ones. We got some Pioneer Raiders over here. Let's, let's take a close look at all these as we go. Okay, we got Pioneer Raiders on the flank. Uh, we got Rangers in the middle. I guess they're not Pioneer Rangers. Alright, and then we got some 24-pounder artillery. And, um... Excuse me, while I, uh, my stomach makes noises, I am eating, in, in celebration of this game with the U.S., I'm eating the, the most fattening food possible. Alright, so we got long riflemen at the front, uh, protecting line infantry, just lines of infantry with some guards near the back, and household cavalry in the very back. Alright, we got the general staff over here, we've got 6-pound horse artillery guarded by some pioneer raiders. Alright, so that's guarding the flank. Over on the Russian side. What have we got? Looks like we got a couple of groups of, we got Household Cavalry and Regiment of Horse, so a couple different types of cavalry guard in the flank. We got, let's see here, let's get in close here so we can see all of them. There we go, there are, and by the way, we are coming to you in the highest graphics possible. So there's our uh, Regiment of Horse, there's our Household Cavalry. A little bit over here, we got some light infantry with some, uh, uh, what was it, 24-pounder artillery. And yeah, just a couple things of 24-pounder artillery, some line infantry coming in at you through the woods. Looks like it's just a straight, oh yeah, line infantry guards, grenadiers, so all different types of infantry, line infantry, all lined up along here. Uh, Cossack infantry, we got the general's bodyguard back there. And so they just have every kind of infantry here to take on the Americans. Cossack infantry, take on the... Uh, that called? Alright, Cossack Cavalry. We got 24 pounder artillery, another thing of those. Oh, oh yeah, sort of, the, the, I was thinking it was two units, but that's right. Russians have those sort of larger things of artillery. Alright, some riflemen, household cavalry, and the regiment of horse. Alright, so that's what they have to take on the capitalist dogs. But of course, at this time, the uh, Russians are kind of capitalist dogs too. So, you know, I'm going to get on this other side before I push play and watch the battle because we're a little bit higher of a hill over here. All right, here we go. So let's push play on this bad boy and see how it goes. Oh, we have it on fast forward. Let's push it regular. I thought that was some very fast moving infantry. All right, well, it looks like the Russians are moving up. You got the uh, US is bringing their, oh, six pounder horse artillery up, rushing up onto this little ridge area here to get a, a quick shot at the Russians. Meanwhile, most of their infantry is not moving up quite as fast, although they are moving up with their 24-pounder artillery up onto this hill with these uh, riflemen to protect them. We got the Russians over here slowly moving up. They've actually set up their 24-pounder foot artillery over there to uh, counter battery fire. Looks like they're going to reinforce their uh, cavalry on this side, so maybe watch for the, a push of cavalry on that side to go get that artillery. There's some major smoke going on here. Oh, it looks like uh, the artillery fired over here and hit that hill. That's one thing is this rough ground over here is going to make it harder to hit and stuff. Alright, the artillery over here is now firing, but it looks like they're hitting in between the, uh, the, the infantry and the artillery. It doesn't seem like they can quite hit anything. It's an artillery duel on this side. Um, Americans have upper ground, although look at that. It looks like they, um, the Russians must have hit one of the limbers while it was still setting up, so that would have destroyed that and the rest of the infantry is going to relentlessly move in. Oh, it looks like rockets or something. Oh, that's why the smoke. Okay. What do they have over here that's firing all that? Let's see here. From her... Uh, oh, there we go. Ha probably the howitzer. And now their uh, household cavalry is coming in. And the Russians are going to make this just a relentless push forward. Oh, some cavalry coming up here. Maybe it's the type of ammunition they're using. And their cavalry's coming up here to, to get those rangers. Oh, no, they're going to just pass right by, by those rangers. What's over here? Looks like maybe they're going to want to try to go around and get a full flank attack. The Americans now have their artillery. Oh, not completely set up yet. They're going to need to hurry if they uh, are going to do anything because pretty soon it's going to turn into a melee battle. And it looks like the uh, artillery is not quite set up to be able to get this uh, Russian infantry as it comes up. Let's see what, the, uh, what their angling is on here. Oh yeah, they can. Okay, and here we go. Here comes the, the charge. 
and they're coming up with their household cavalry. The Americans, the Pioneer Raiders, have uh, have missed them, but their backs are now to them, and now it looks like that uh, Russian cavalry is going to come in and get them. The Americans don't even need them, and now they're pinned down. Uh, they're they, having hit the Americans in the back. The Russians have the advantage over there, and now the Russians are bringing some infantry and isolating them. It's pretty bad for them. The artillery over here, if they are at close range, hit by enemy artillery and rifle fire at close range, so I wouldn't count on these people having much of a chance to be around for very long. Six pounder horse artillery, actually after losing one of the limpers, they really didn't have much of a chance of getting out of there. Anyway, the Russians are going to come in. Ah, oh, the Americans are going to go bring in some line of infantry to try to protect them, seeing that that flank is really hurt to bring in another line of infantry firing, and it looks like the Americans might just barely say it. Yes, they have literally gotten in there. And the Russians are rushing in. Oh yeah, they destroyed that cavalry over there, and now they're coming in at uh, this infantry. So this this uh, flank is getting overwhelmed for the Americans. The Russians, oh, but they are bringing in some of their reserves, some of the guards. You saw at the beginning that they had guards in the back, and so they are going to attack. You have the uh, skirmishers who are trying to uh, stop their end. The guards are plugging in the holes. So the Americans might just uh, hold off that uh, center flank. Oh, that right flank there. All right, meanwhile, you have the Cossacks have gone in there. They are just rushing in to overwhelm the Americans everywhere. The Americans have held this little hill. However, over here on the flank, they have... Uh, this is where the Russians came running up. And now you have uh, the cavalry trying to protect that flank. If the Russians can stop them or can overwhelm them here, they might just be able to get that artillery and roll up the flank on this side. So let's actually take a pause it here and just take a look at the battlefield. All right, so the Americans are fighting for their lives to protect this particular flank. It's kind of what this battle is becoming. The Russians were trying to rush up on this flank to uh, take out this artillery here and then roll up this direction. Look, they managed to destroy that. They could get into the American rear and uh, finish them off. However, the Americans have thrown in some Pioneer Raiders and the household <coughs> excuse me, artillery. Need a little bit of water here. All right, so having those two against that one uh, Russian infantry uh, unit, I don't think the Russians have much of a chance. Even if they wanted, they wouldn't have enough to do what they need to do. So it comes down to the grind right in the middle. They're uh, going up, the Russians are going uphill, but there's more of them against the, uh, the single American unit that is holding uh, the high ground over there. Meanwhile, uh, more line infantry holding the simul center. Russians coming up in classic form. The Americans have brought in some guards to uh, have, protect this, uh, uh, or to fill this gap. And this is really where the gap happens, is the, uh, over on this side, the Russians have completely overwhelmed them. The American cavalry failed to protect the flank, and so the Russians were really overwhelming. However, the Americans have done a good job at throwing their reserves in, uh, have brought them in, protecting, uh, first of all, running in to protect the uh, artillery, and uh, are now fighting to try to preserve this flank. However, they've also created a side line here, so you can see uh, the way that the line is pushing forward, but then there's also uh, one sort of off at an angle there, just in case the Russians manage to get through over here, they, the Americans still have this. So the Americans have, have accepted kind of an offensive position uh, where they are fighting uh, with their, with their artillery on the high ground. The Russians, meanwhile, are being aggressive, trying to get in uh, uh, on this flank. And if they can manage to destroy them here, maybe they can push around here, or they can just simply try to take the direct route. The Russians, meanwhile, still have back here uh, the artillery. The spikes are pointing the wrong way for some reason. But plenty of artillery. Uh, so even if it becomes an artillery duel, it might just weaken the Americans regardless. Alright, let's just keep on going. It is an arms race. This is really the exciting flank over here on the right. Or American right, Russian left. It looks like the Americans have managed to plug those holes. And yes, that's right, they have destroyed the last of the uh, Russians that were engaged over there. You still have one unit over here, but... They're, they're not quite engaged, and 
probably not going to be enough to destroy the uh, Americans. The Russians will be well advised to pull back, guard their uh, artillery, and try to let their artillery weaken the Americans. They meanwhile are still trying at that center. Classic duel right there where they're standing there toe-to-toe -to -toe firing at them. Both sides are taking losses. Both sides are hurting their morale. Uh, I don't think it's a fight either side can really win, but uh, in a stalemate, the American uh, the defender will win, which is essentially what's happening with the Americans. The Americans really have taken a sense of position on this point. And in fact, they now, having a gap, have uh, pushed forward one of their cavalry units, is uh, hitting that uh, Russian cavalry, and if they manage to destroy that Russian cavalry, there will be nothing to stop this American cavalry from making a counterattack. Alright, let's look at this other side again. It looks like, well, you know, you saw that it looked like the Americans had completely overwhelmed them, but this Russian infantry, this line infantry, has managed to fight all of them off, and is now all on its own. There's nothing to keep them from going in that uh, artillery, so watch for that to be destroyed here in a minute. Uh, the infantry in the center, the American infantry in the center, has won their fight. It looks like so the Russians are trying to come back, but the Americans, oh, they are in a hand-to-hand -hand combat here, so we're going to have to see who wins that. The uh, Russians might just be in the center. Meanwhile, the Americans, it looks like they were going to go over and fight the ones on the left flank, but they have turned around, and they're going to get back into that line here. Oh, and there is that incendiary uh, fire there. Uh, and they're just going to try to make sure they realize their main goal is to guard the center. That's exactly what they're doing. The Russians have sent up a regiment of horse. Spallows to the left. The general's bodyguard is going to personally take them out. Or at least fight them. I, my assumption is, is However, if the Russians manage to get a lucky hit and kill the general, that would be about their last hope at this point. But as it so happens, it looks like the Americans, for the most part, uh, taking them out everywhere they are. They still have some... Their artillery up there untouched. The Russians, instead of going after their artillery, is trying to roll up the flank. They're being impatient, and that will probably be their undoing as the, as the uh, artillery is going to get them in the rear while the infantry gets them from the front. Now, over here, this is exactly what I figured would be happening with the uh, cavalry. The cavalry has broken the Russian cavalry without any Russian cavalry to counter it, has broken through, has taken out the artillery, and they only have one more thing of it. Although actually I think there's a little more artillery over on the other side of the field, it shouldn't be much of a problem for them. The Russians don't have much uh, else to go, but much of uh, another place to go. However, they're going to line up and try to take out that cavalry which has gotten into their rear. They're, I don't think there's enough of them to form a square, so they might be in trouble here if the yap as the uh, cavalry charges. And that's probably just going to wipe them out. What have they got left? They do have some artillery. The Russians do have a 24-pounder artillery, a 24-pounder howitzer. So those are going to do their best, although the uh, one is lumbered. They're going to probably do their best to uh, weaken the Americans before they get to them. As you can see, the last of the Russian infantry is about ready to go, and he's surrounded by infantry on one side, artillery on the other. Oh, it looks like... Oh, no, okay, that's uh, Russian artillery or infantry running from the field. So it looks like the Russians really only have one left to protect their artillery, and it doesn't look like they even have much of the artillery. Oh, here we go. This will be the last of it. This is really kind of the last vestige of their uh, hope. And that's a howitzer, so that's not going to do very well in defense of fire. Yeah, they're going to just fire over their heads. That's not really going to do much. And there they go. Oh, uh, well, that was very interesting. I guess two guys stabbed each other and went flying away from each other. Well, on that note, I think that we're going to just have to wrap it up. That'll do it for us here at Command Combat Computer Reports. Uh, you know, I'll probably watch this battle for a little, uh, this little fight over here for a little bit, but it looks like the Americans are going to win it. Um, but I'll call it. Remember uh, to um, subscribe and watch our other video uh, show, which is Command Combat uh, Battle Reports, which is... Uh, miniature board gaming. Thank you all for watching and happy gaming to you.